Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming this morning. While we will learn more in the upcoming days and weeks, the National Weather Service has predicted that the Red River will flood this spring with a river crest occurring in early to mid-April. The severity of flooding depends on numerous factors, such as the speed of the snowmelt and the level of additional precipitation we may receive. As it stands, there is a 50% probability flooding could be in the range of 38 feet and a lower probability that flooding could reach the level of 2009, which was 40.84 feet. The good news is that Moorhead's flood preparations have been ongoing since 2009 and our completed flood mitigation projects were designed for these river levels. Since 2009, 263 flood-prone homes along the riverfront have been removed. 12.1 miles of flood walls and permanent levees have been built. In addition, 78 storm sewer gates have been installed to prevent storm sewer backup. While we hope for the best, the city of Moorhead is planning for a river level of 40 to 41 feet. Leading up to the river crest, you will see road, bridge, and park closures, and perhaps clay levees in some areas. But the need for temporary protection measures has decreased significantly because of the flood mitigation efforts undertaken since 2009. In 2009, we needed nine miles of clay levees to protect our infrastructure. Today, it is estimated that we would only need 1.6 miles of clay levees in 2019. Our staff's emergency flood plan is honed and preparations are actively underway to ensure that our city's infrastructure is protected and services are continued leading up to and during the flood event. In anticipation of a 2019 spring flood, I'm issuing a state of flood emergency in the city of Moorhead. This declaration provides an opportunity to seek assistance from the state and federal governments if our flood fighting costs meet minimum assistance thresholds. I will now read the state of emergency declaration. By the powers vested in me as a mayor of the city of Moorhead, Minnesota, I do hereby declare the city of Moorhead to be a state in a state of emergency for the spring 2019 flood event, effective March 22nd, 2019. The state of emergency declaration is made to prepare for the flood event and take appropriate advanced measures to protect the city of Moorhead. Now, <clears throat> there are four additional things that our community, the property owners on the river, and the community in general need to know about the upcoming flood. First, riverfront neighborhood zones. Moorhead has once again established flood zones for neighborhoods near the river. The number and boundaries of flood zones have changed from prior events since many flood prone homes have been removed since then. For this flood event, four zones have been established, and there's a map behind me, uh, if anyone needs to take a note while you're here, that will detail each zone. Each zone has a zone leader who will be the primary point of contact for property owners within the zone who may need technical advice or assistance while protecting their properties. Number two, flood communication. It is important for residents to know that you can get important messages directly through our website at www.cityofmoorhead.com. Now, when you go to the website, you can sign up for three things. One, e-notifications. Service alerts is the category that will be used for flood messaging. Number two, you can also sign up for code red. Number three, you can also check the elevation. The flood information button on the home page connects you with an up-to-date mapping tool to show what areas of a property will be affected at specific 
river levels. Regarding volunteering and sandbagging, we are extremely fortunate that our city has so many people willing to help each other. This speaks volumes to how close-knit of a community that we are, especially in times of adversity. Our volunteer operation process and volunteer sign-up procedures will be released Monday through our e-notification service alerts and on social media. Our amazing Moorhead student bodies from the colleges down to the high school have already expressed their willingness to help as we have so many churches, organizations, and individuals who are also willing to come out and serve our city. The city has an initial goal of producing 150,000 sandbags necessary to protect our public infrastructure and a number of private properties that have not been offered an opportunity for a buyout. The need for sandbagging is dr dramatically less than in 2009 when 2.5 million sandbags were needed. This decrease is attributable to the significant process made in removing the homes that are most vulnerable to flooding. Regarding the Oakport neighborhood, the Oakport neighborhood was annexed to the city of Moorhead in 2015. Much of the Oakport neighborhood is protected by a flood control project that was completed by the Buffalo Red River Watershed District. The city of Moorhead is working on flood preparation projects for the balance of the area, but that project is not yet complete. Oakport is our neighborhood now, and we want residents to know that our staff will work to support your neighborhood. We will provide sandbags to these property owners. The bottom line is this, Moorhead is prepared for this flood fight. I am surrounded by, around by the command team that will guide our community through this event. We have a team of qualified and educated professionals, experts that are ready to serve and protect our city. But I also want to give a shout out to Dr. Bob Zimmerman. I know he doesn't like being at the forefront but well-deserved, well-respected, and he is a state and regional expert on flood control. We are very blessed to have him on our team. With that. <laughs> With that, I will open up for questions, and obviously I am not smart enough to be an engineer, so if you have any technical questions, I may defer to Dr. Z. That's a very good question. I will pass it on, Dr. Z. Approximately, approximately, thank you, Steve. Approximately 40. Generally in the area between 40th Avenue North and Wall Street. We are working on those plans, but I'll let uh, Steve Moore speak to that. Yes, uh, we'll be releasing details on our sandbagging plan on Monday, and so we estimate to start those uh, sandbagging operations, producing sandbags, uh, middle of next week. But those details will be followed and released, following and released on Monday. And if you're asking, I'll be there to help out with manual labor. <laughs> but as far as putting them together, I can't. I have no expertise in that. <laughs> So the 150,000 uh, number is in reference to a 41-foot flood. Just for comparison, a 38-foot flood would be about 12,000. So there's a big difference. No, uh, due to the, the number that we're producing, uh, we're, we're not using a spider machine. We're using some other methods, a little more simple, but it's, it's, uh, it will be efficient and effective for the number of bags that we need and most cost effective.
So uh, I'll clarify just to explain how we look at that. So when we span the riverfront looking at property elevations, we use a little bit of a buffer, generally about 25 feet from the building. And so at a, at a, uh, at a 38 foot uh, flood stage, there'd be 40 properties that we're watching closely. That doesn't mean everyone would have water on the structure, but it'd be in close proximity. And at a 41 foot flood, about 108. So uh, the toll bridge, the former toll bridge, uh, 15th Avenue North, uh, would be closed in the um, range of 28 feet. Uh, the North Broadway Bridge, for example, is about 22 feet. First Avenue North is in the range of 32 to 34 feet. Any further questions? What is the uh, minimum that you have to hit for the uh, saving grant? I'm going to repeat the question. Uh, what is the minimum that the city will need to hit in order to get reimbursement from the federal government? Does anyone? Chat? The, there are two programs, the state uh, mercy declaration uh, program. That threshold is, is lower than the federal, and that threshold is just over $111,000 for damages within Clay County, and that includes protective measures that we're talking about. Uh, if we end up having damages for the federal declaration, our threshold is 223000 roughly, and that's in the Clay County, and then across Minnesota, that would be $7.9 in damages to kick in the federal. Any other questions for the good of the order? Thank you all again uh, for attending. Thank you all for your support. And also a special thanks for the team. They're going to be putting in some long hours uh, preparing uh, for this battle. But we're ready to roll. And thank you again.